Right, like you see, we're in Stockport now. We've got an EWC Explorer and Carl. Hello. Got SOG, GTR. Hello. And we're just going to the air raid shelters. I know we've done them before. But, but SOG Yeah. We've got a visit or so, go to take yeah, SOG to them because they're now back open. So just down this hill is the air raid shelters, or one of them. And it does hold a good few hundred people at one point. And I believe there's another three that are accessible. And there's supposed to be a fourth one somewhere in Stockport as well. So, yeah, we'll try and find out where that one is. So we'll see you down there. <laughs> Just making it over now. There's the Red Rock Stockport there. And actually, it's been opened up a bit more. Gap in the fence where they're going through now. When they stop talking, I don't think they heard me, but they took the hint. So let's get over and see what's what. They make it look hard. Don't know why they make it look so hard, these two. Wow. Since we've been here last, that's a really been attacked. He even tried burning the wood, but realised there's concrete bricks behind it. So they had a good goal there. There's a few people down here already. Oh, looks a bit. You alright? Many people in? Many people in there? No. That's the new way in. And like you see, that's the old way. Having a bit. I need to get my gear out. What do you want me to do? So, can you hold that while I. Oh, you get it in? Yeah. It is. It's quite easy actually. Uh, to get through there. Just give me a second, I'll get down for you. Right. Yeah, we'll see yeah, down here.
Get some more light. Reese that out of me. Resetting the camera for you. Don't worry, I'm leaning against the bunk beds for you. So you did not fall. Tell, not very graceful, but we're going. Tell you what, it's bigger than last time, that gap. I'm glad. Yeah, look, there's a little gap what we went through. See? Sure. But yeah, it's like twice as big there. Tell you what, if it weren't for the bunk beds, it'll be harder to get in. I know. Definitely. Yeah, I think it's Right, I'm glad I got that heavy spinning stuff in the back of the cabin. Yeah. Rather than just get stuck on that. Yeah. Super up there, but it might get your cabin uh, torch, so. That's where Matthew lost his phone, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I know the layout of this place. <coughs> These two don't, so what I'll do, like a true legend, is leave them behind and go for a wonder myself. Don't leave me! I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> if I ever see you again. <laughs> yeah. It's a long time since I've been in here. But I believe this way. Up here. Dead end. Dead end here with some uh, toilets and stuff in. Or bed. Beds in. To the left here is the entrance. What, where it is showing you where they had to go we're getting in before to the right if you look up there it's just a dead end with all this tar or something coming through the walls some sort of contamination and an old barrel there still so we'll spin around the other side this is the like you see, the wet side, you can call it. It's dripping in just a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, this is well wet, this side now, compared to how it used to be. Well, when it came in last time, Standing on bricks now and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I made it through. We still not don't know what this was for. It's been backfilled anyway. So at one point, it did go up to the surface. So I don't think we're far under the surface there at the moment. And go a bit further down. Again to your right, you've got the red brick building, uh, bricks, and there's another hole. And in here it's slightly different because it's a concrete room. And there's the top of the roof. And as we walk further down, this is where the entrance was. And this is where they try to get in through this corner here. But obviously all these bricks here they had no chance. This here was like a cutaway. 
for like electric box. And if you look here, this wooden uh, piece of wood on the slope, that is the old gas curtain. You come across this side, we've got you there as well. And if you look carefully, you can see the bitumen where it's been sealed. And it was a cloth that was rolled up and in time of use, they unrolled it. It was coated in a chemical called dope to help stop the gas or chemical warfare coming in. Even though it wasn't a nuclear bunker, it's still a uh, threat of uh, Moss's gasket and stuff was uh, still dominant in the World War II. There was always a fear of it being used. And we went to a mustard gas factory in the UK. It was a secret military base. And I'm working on that video at the moment. I'm editing that so you'll be able to see that one when it's out. Right, this is where we came in basically. We came in from the right hand side here, so we'll carry on straight. So you go that way. To the right, or you can go straight down that way. I think if you go down the next one to your right, then to your left is the toilets. No, that ain't the toilets. Uh, I'll just check. No, this isn't the toilet one, no. See, even I get it wrong. Back this way, back to the far back. There's a little room there, but there's nothing in there. An old rail girder. <coughs> this is like a storeroom or something. Oh, miss the toilets. Let's go back. Quite near the beginning. These beds are galvanised now, like the other ones were all rusty. These ones aren't as bad because of the coating they've got on them, you see. Yeah, I think I found the toilets now. There's down there. And you look this way. And to your right here, yeah, there's the toilets. Let's get this on the 
that are like tyres. There they are, the old chemical toilets. Last time I came in, I think there was door frame and a lock on the wood because there's all the doors that were rotting away over the past. But I think one of the chemical toilets had a seat which is there, still intact. Well, that's pretty cool to see. So one way in and another way in and out this way. And if you look here, this also has some sort of curtain door just for private set, basically. And you come down this way, there's one to your left here, and this is the other toilets. And there's a door this side. And it's pretty much the same as the others, but I think this is a more cleared out. Oh, there's another one with the toilet and lid and handle, a complete one. There's just one with a toilet lid. There, there's the door frame, catch and door handle. There's another door handle. And another one. And then that brings you back out to this corridor where we went in the first place to the toilets. Now we'll go down this far end. And as you get to the bottom of here, you turn left and it's a, just a dead end like that basically. And then if you turn right, it leads you to an entrance that's bricked up. And that is on Dodge Hill. Hence the name of Dodge Hill Air Raid Shelters. And the name of Dodge Hill itself is supposed to be known to have links to Dodge Car Multifact uh, Factory. In America, apparently, the person who invented Dodge Motors, Motors lived on Dodge Hill. And that's where it's got in its name from. So, if you want to do a bit more history on the place and check it out, you can either confirm it or deny it. But that's what I found when I was doing history on the place. There's quite a few ones I break up though. It makes you wonder where they go to extend it at one point. And a lot of people think these are from the World War II, but they're not, they're from the motorway when they built the motorway. And then of course they came in here with the lights. And there's the difference between a steel frame how rusty they are compared to the galvanised frames. So like I say, coming up to the top left of the bunker, you say we came in the bottom right-ish, and this is a dead end. Like you say, spin round again, and go straight down here and this leads you know, to the stairs that I was telling you about if I remember rightly and do a few more little dead ends on the way down
there is an actual tour you can take in Stockport it's like a oh, this jacket there and this is used to be another say electrical box and like I was saying there is a tour in Stockport town centre where you can go and five pound you pay to get in to see the area shelters and it's a museum it's quite good and here's the stairs leading up to Dodge Hill and if you look there's a line all the way down the centre that's to stop uh, the rush of people getting crushed and you put bars uh, a banister up on the side, uh, either side. And as you go up, there is another gas curtain uh, to protect the people inside from the gases. And if you wonder what that is, that's a piece of wood up there for them to install a light. So they installed all the bits of wood first and concreted the entrance. So the wood's locked in place. Like I say, you can't replace that, it's rotting away. And they just screwed into it, rather than try to drill the concrete. And as we come up to this point, we get a crack in the wall. I'm not too sure that what that is, subtilized at one point or something. But it goes right across. And that's just across the front entrance. And just there, see these metal brackets, these were holding the gas curtain on. And like I say, there's a slope line to your left. That's where the seal would have been. And the same down that side, a rolled up curtain. Just pull it down when it's needed. We make it to the top of the stairs now. And if you look to your right, there's a little hole. And that's where the old electrics used to come in. There used to be a cable just there somewhere underneath the cup. And behind this is air vent to the main road on Dodge Hill. And if someone's walking past, they can hear us talking. And I've heard people talk on the other side of that wall as I went past in the past. So let's get further down. So we're about halfway through the air raid shelter tour of this Stockport Dodge Hill. Yeah, someone left the jacket there. And the bag, I'm not looking in there. Down here <coughs> is another entrance that's been sealed up. I'll just show you, show it to you before we leave this area. Look at that, an old. We'll hope of the car. There's all them bags that I've seen last time. I'll tell you what, we pushed these up last time and they've stayed up. I'm surprised no one's been nasty. Yeah. And here we go to the end here, to the bottom. 
know, they've been digging out. Yeah, it looks like someone's trying to dig it, dig out. Lots of concrete there. No chance of doing that. No chance at all. That's feet and feet thick. You might want to know why I know the layout of this place quite well. Because there's a map of the place on the internet. And in the la late last video of the place, I put the map up. There's an old wheel. Bicycle wheel or something. And if you're looking here, you're wondering what this is. This is electrical conduct for the electrics that used to be in here for the lighting. And like I say, there's the one of the power points cut away for it. That's the dead end where the wheel hub is. And when as we go down to the left, and yeah, I'll turn left, we'll be going left and right, just to do, show you where we was before. At the top of there, that's where we walked past. So we're just coming back on ourselves now. If we go back up there and do a right, then right again. It just leads you back here. So I'm going this way to the left. You all right? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, not too bad. Do you work down here? Uh, only when I'm filming. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> the Urban Legend UK. Alright, yeah, oh, just... I'll put a link in the bottom of my video then. Check his channel out, people. <laughs> they explain with Carl and <laughs> Sog. Are you okay? have got a couple of kids down here, haven't we? <laughs> I've not seen any in here before, though, at the front, yeah. Yeah, they came in though. Oh, they came Three in? Them, yeah. So, again, as, as Carl Avell then put uh, the Urban Legend UK's uh, link in the description. Much appreciated, and we'll do the face of her, so. No worries. Kids and chocolate. <laughs> uh, that's another dead end. Now we're coming to a concrete part here. Like you say, it changes to concrete here. That's to reinforce it. Because above here is a church and a school basically. And it needed a bit more strengthening. Hence the change of colour and build materials. And it only took him a few months to actually dig these tunnels out. I think it was six months, less than a year anyway, to uh, dig all these tunnels out by the navvies. Yes, they were hand dug, but using hydraulic equipment, because a lot of people say it's pickaxe marks and all that there. Some of it might be, but they used hydraulic machinery by hand to dig the place out. You all right? Uh, and that's where we was before up there. Uh, you see the arrow to the left is where we came from and to the right is the way we went so we're going to the left here and this is heading towards the beginning where we came in the entrance because there's that scooter we've seen at the beginning and there's another hole there that someone's tried digging that's about a meter in that full of concrete and again that's blocked off you can see a layer there on the sandstone that would take too much for it to uh, fall down 
but sandstone is quite easy to dig out. And there's a few more toilets. To the left, to the right. Yeah, if you go up here, pull it round, it goes to your right, then left, and that's where your toilets are, where we went in before. Just show you. There, and the second one's just there where the bunk beds are. We can either go that way, but you've seen that way. Let's go left. Down this way. And we're near the beginning again now. Uh, I'll show you the entrance as we get there. And here we are. Do you want to see us get out? There's only a few more minutes to watch. So yeah, you want to see if we fall out or whatever. Stay tuned. I know, here they are. I thought you and my mate said. Oh no, we just saw them. They made the stairs. Alright, no worries. I'll turn uh, the light off so not to stir them. I won't scare them as they come round, you see. Yeah, we just subscribe to Carl. Cheers. Urban Legend UK. Yeah, yeah. We'll subscribe, we'll subscribe to, to you. Nice one. Oh. Take it easy now, yeah? Easy. Legs first, legs first. Always legs first. I'll film you getting out. Don't mind, do you? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> He's from Stockport yourselves? Um, I'm originally from Denton. Denton, yeah. yeah. So localish. Uh, okay. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Yeah. As long as you don't land on your head. Yeah. That's the best way not to land on your head. If you don't know where the hole is at your age. <laughs> God help everyone. <laughs> See what I've got is my skateboarding pads on from today when I've been skateboarding. Oh, you're alright now. His knees look painful. Yeah. Do you want to borrow my skateboard pads? I can do it then. Right, I've got to find that bloody thing now on the wall. You don't look comfy there. Eh? You don't look quite comfy there. I'm not. Well, at least you've got all your hair. It's not even going bald, is it? You no. kick it. Not like you, Carl. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. I'm just going to drop. Go, it's slippy on there, be careful. Yeah, if he holds onto the wall, he'll be alright once he's I've feet done out. It. He's done it, he's it out. Well done. Right, here's Carl. Here's Johnny. Uh, you forgot your bag already? No, I'm going to get it in a minute. I thought he was going to ask me to get it for him then. 
call. I'd have done it anyway for him, like, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to surf over you again now? Are you alright? Er, uh, watch it out. You can grab the camera if you want. Okay. Easy does it. With your shin pads. Alright, let's get back off here and. Yeah, out. Pass him the camera once we're out.